L'essentiel de mon intérêt, c'est la recherche des planètes très petites, des planètes qui se rapprochent le plus possible de la Terre. I'm interested in very small planets, planets that resemble the Earth. Today, we still know very little about them, but it's where we think that life might have developed. Et d'autre part, à plus long terme, c'est l'endroit où on pense que la vie peut-être s'est développée. La découverte de 51 Pégase a été essentiellement le résultat... The discovery of 51 Pégase B was the result of a new observation strategy. We observed a large sample of 140 stars similar to our Sun. This increased the probability of finding an interesting object. Then we used an instrument that made it possible to immediately analyze the data. As soon as we discovered any abnormalities, we were able to react immediately and make more refined analyses. On pouvait tout de suite réagir et dire on refait une mesure demain, on refait une mesure après demain, etc. C'était un système de trois petites planètes dont deux sont très proches de ce qu'on appelle être la zone habitable. We discovered a system of three small planets, two of which were close to what we call the habitable zone, an area where water can be liquid. Again, this was achieved thanks to a new high-precision instrument, a spectrograph that we developed here in Geneva and sent to the research center in Chile. It registers a star's very small wobbles, which is essential for finding small planets. When a planet orbits a star, the star also makes a small movement. The smaller the planet, the smaller the movement of the star. Therefore, the better the detector has to be. Que l'on utilise pour pouvoir la détecter. La physique stellaire, la physique des étoiles, a connu un énorme développement au XXe siècle. We learned an awful lot about stars during the 20th century, but almost nothing about planets outside our solar system. With the discovery of several extrasolar planets over the last few years, astrophysics has entered a new field. There are already suggestions for new space missions. It's difficult to predict what the developments will be in a hundred years' time. But what we can say is that questions about the origins of life, such as whether life is a frequent phenomenon inside the universe, or whether it's even a normal sub-product of chemistry and physics, all these questions will become extremely important in the next century. extrêmement importante au cours du siècle qui vient de l'Ontario.